What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house where we have time traveling info brokers in my closet giving me the best information possible to bring to you guys for today's market review. But seriously, some crazy things are going on, some low-key stuff that maybe even the most trained eye watching the market hasn't noticed. So let's let's go ahead and get into it. Carter Demise, forty dollars for that ultra rare. That's pretty crazy and the secret rare keeps exceeding the market price over here but ebay just tells this completely uh different story when we look at the ultra rare over here it's at 30 dollars still the buyout wasn't complete over here we see 22 22 22 all these new listings coming in hot yes it's a high demand card maybe mainly because of the true draco deck being one of the best to ever abuse this it's just really weird how it's just catapulted itself. I think a lot of people, when they looked at Kaiba's World, they decided which cards they were going to get out of it. When they didn't pull it out of their packs, they still committed to buying the singles. And it's it's kind of keeping that, that up here price. And, of course, the ratios being, you know, a little screwy didn't help with anything either. But going for the Ultra when the consensus is that the Secret Rare looks nicer and is the higher rarity... That's that's kind of an odd choice. Maybe it's because they figure, well, at worst, none, no more of these are being printed. But uh, a ton of people holding the line here, almost seeming maybe like they work together or they just have that link mentality of hold the line. That's not going to work, and we're going to show you why in just a second uh, when when we review a, another card. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. This is actually relatively down my market watch. But Pot of Desires... You would figure, you know, it went up to $30. You, everybody might hold the line, try to make this, you know, some kind of collector value or higher level meta play for the higher conditions. Near Mints at 24 already falling down from 30. Quote, unquote, great condition ones. Th those aren't the same as Near Mint. Do always, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But over here, first add Near Mint, $22 or best offer. $22, $22 the line didn't hold for very long there's plenty of duels who saw that price bump and were like heck i'll take 25 online and then other people oh, i i would take 20 i'm happy with 22 and here here we are this is what happens when people try to hold the line together it's just not gonna work too well for them it's it's not gonna turn out like they want and i think pot of desires was a much better card to try that with yes we have a much ex more accessible lower rarity for it but this is a card obviously that doesn't have new printings being pushed out for it and it, it just fell like a rock so not not the best choice of bio i actually if i was the person going for it i probably would have gone for the secret rare although it just kept creeping up and it was probably the harder buyout overall to do it's just not gonna last and we'll see uh, some cool happen on that price for you guys i would hope galaxy eyes full armor photon dragon this is this is the trained eye seeking things out i was like what do blue eyes players need for their extra deck that you know doesn't have a recent printing well this mega pack 2016 isn't the most recent and we see it's actually almost four dollars versus its market price of two which is more expensive than the original first ed super rares at 350 and that sometimes happens with mega packs like vendors sold out of the mega pack cards faster and the price bump uh, the next level pe where people try to hold the line it just happens to be higher than the originals but we have one unlimited here for somebody who's going to get it around two dollars before it's almost double that price and ebay actually tells a very similar story starting lowest from canada at 381 i think this was more natural than and a buyout uh i i think a lot of people who finally got their blue eyes deck just started going for this and it, it's crept up to this point so uh let's go ahead and look at sold items and let's go and look at ended recently and we see sales jesus at 474 380 320 uh, so yeah you see a lot of sales backing near that four to three dollar price point it's some people will be overpaying out here it's pretty crazy but uh definitely one of those pieces for blue eyes decks that they needed something else i've been kind of watching that does have uh two copies and a more recent copy of a set people kind of ignored slash didn't like in duels pack dimensional guardians is actually one of the cash cards of that set at five dollars and then at 558 plus for the original uh you might actually want to go ahead and pick yours up now rather than later because its quantities are insanely low 
14 prices, 14 prices, and uh, nine total results searching the uh, the secret rare version of it. It's it's just very very few copies. I would think you'd want the secret rare over the uh, super rare. So you know you might want to get that now before you're stuck with them supers. But it goes up relatively quickly, guys. Yeah. You really t always check both TCG players actually the winner on this one and you might want to get it now because Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon and both of their quantities are very telling stories of what's been happening with these cards and you want to get them before they're gone. Oracle of Zephyr is a card I actually didn't have my eye on and it has crept up here the secret rares all the way to 748 versus market price of five. And then the supers are actually near their market price of three. I actually did not know this was three, so I investigated. When did this happen? Well, on eBay, it's still a lot cheaper. So it had to be somewhat recent. And then when I went to sold items and went to look at ended recently, I don't think there's any actually over $3. You see this playset sell for five. You, sell, you see one sell almost for three. And none are really selling at the $3 mark. A lot are floating around that 2 to $3 mark. But uh, listing-wise, eBay just seems consistently cheaper for this card, so you might want to go check it out there. But it does seem like it's going up on both fronts. When we check out the Secret Rare on eBay, near mint, 625, 630 before it matches TCG Player. So uh, for you people who are rarity slaves, such as uh, myself sometimes when I really like a deck and I want it to look nice, you might want to actually take a shot at the Secret relatively soon because... Let's face it, this is a card you'll want multiples of when you're playing that deck. But I think most of you guys who were already fans of this deck and have the deck in hand already have the secrets, I, I would think, overall, if you're looking to upgrade that rarity. I don't think anyone's too bummed about missing out on this one, you know? So then we go ahead and take a look over at Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, which is at $1.10. Uh, for one copy, I don't know if the seller's selling anything else, but they have quite a few sales, so I guess they are. Then a dollar ninety, and remember, you need to hit that two dollar li limit to buy from one seller. So it's it's getting relatively hard to get a uh, budget price on this card. I brought this to you guys while it was uh, a bit cheaper. It was like I think around the dollar, and you see it's been consistently going up since I told you guys about it. And Toon Cyber Dragon, uh, Toon Cyber Dragon has gone uh, up solidly to three dollars with not many budget options left for him but the quantities are actually relatively high here at uh 22 different prices versus the four prices on the mega pack this is this is that thing i was talking about mega packs seem to sell out more somehow before and then end up at a higher price it's really weird because you would think people want the originals but i i don't know what happens with those kinds of things it's it's interesting, isn't it? But this this engine, if you missed out on that market watch, basically in Brandish, uh, which I, I think it's Sky Strikers in the TCG now, which isn't a bad name, you, you activate three Toon Table of Contents and you actually have a good search target in Toon Cyber Dragon. The special summons itself doesn't mess with your normal summon. And you're able to slurp their monster out of their extra monster zone, be it the Link, Xyz, whatever you want. As long as it's in their extra monster zone, you're going to end up putting a 2400 body on board and outing some pretty hard to to get stuff and then maybe making your own link monster or something out of it later it, it's still eh, like uh, here here's my one problem in brandish maidens brandish maidens are around that tag out thing so blocking your extra monster zone like that can be a little rough I, I i haven't looked at their gameplay to see where they go from there but that's something that was uh pointed out to me and it's I don't know what you do, so do tell me in the comment section down below if you're a Brandish Maiden slash Sky Striker player, what do you do with your Mega Fleet Dragon to uh, enable you to, to continue? I, maybe some of your own cards take care of it, but I feel like that would be a waste of resources, right? To, to end up destroying your own cards to clear the way. But sometimes the bigger problem is uh, your, your opponent's extra monster zone card. So slurping that up and then maybe using your own resources is an easier way to deal with certain cards. Finally, we've got actually set reviews. I'm not even kidding. I wanted to go over Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium and Legendary Duelist itself and just say these prices don't depend on the meta at all. They don't depend on being good. And uh, we, we're not really seeing reprints for these cards. And I don't know the products that would target it besides maybe Battles of Legend. 
But these cards are consistently saying, staying at really, really good prices overall for the top end of the booster packs. And there's not much quantity left of them to open up. It's, it's actually kind of hard to get these booster boxes at a decent price. Ancient Gear Fusion still around the $24 mark. We've got Crystal Bond still above the $20 mark. Millennium Eyes Restrict was not short printed like the other two. And we actually see it staying around uh, $16 because it's an instant fusion target that can help you take care of hand traps in a sense. And then uh, the rest of the cards are actually staying a lot higher than the other pack, mainly because Duelists really like all these archetypes that they've put in this one. Toon Kingdom's reprint sitting at $5 is pretty good. It continues to trickle down a little, which is nice. But uh, at the same time, I would almost think this is the perfect time to get yours because I don't see it going down too much further from here. And I, I kind of see like it eventually going up slowly as just Toon Duelists and Toon fans continue to get them. Cocoon was also short printed. I remember it was like at $5 at one point. It's sitting here at $674 also. So these... Again, don't rely on the meta, and it really shows how powerful the collector wave and casual wave can be on the market for them to maintain prices like this. Uh, a perfect example, actually, is if we go to Spirit Warriors, and look how this set is. A deck that wasn't collectible, but did have a lot of people excited about it. We actually see them sitting at lower prices than uh, both both for the the short print for the weather painter and the muskets you see that the booster boxes are uh, a little easier to get but actually starting to run out as well but just look at these prices uh, it's so much lower when these decks actually had meta implications like edisception topping with the magical musketeers like what and the collector's market is really showing itself the casuals are showing that they do want certain cards and then the quantities uh the amount of packs ripped open for these cards also seems lower or or perhaps actually people are just straight up out of the legendary duelist ancient millennium i'm i'm not really sure what do you guys think about these sets they're actually crazy to me and i really like looking at them it, it makes me really interested to think how many more casual Yu-Gi-Oh players are out there that are just happy to have these kind of decks and play with them i think the deck building challenges on stream actually make me appreciate this way more instead of being critical or harsh on it because i know people like and want this stuff and they don't want to pay these high prices for it but then they're willing to because they the nostalgia factor or the wanting to make this deck better that they've had forever just really brings them to go ahead and trade for it or spend that money thanks for watching again guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you're new here please click that subscribe button i appreciate you all stopping in today and have a good one